Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the modifications I made to my Johnny Boats Bass 100 kayak. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is an overall view of my customized Johnny Boats Bass 100 kayak. Moving to the rear, I have a modified Haswing Pro 2R 1.0 12 volt 65 pound thrust brushless trolling motor and I've shortened the shaft to 30 inches and also modified the head so I can have a wire remote using this quick disconnect and I have foot pedal steering which is set up the way I normally do and in front of this I have my battery box that has the quick connect for the trolling motor as well as a battery meter and a USB port up front and the wiring for the remote runs up in here in the gunnels and I was able to use one of the existing pad eyes as a guide and then it runs up along the side next to the foot pedal steering tube and here is my wire remote that is mounted to the tracks on the opposite side of that is my fish finder mounted on the tracks coming around to this side there's a track mounted rod holder and then here's another view of my standing cast bar with other attachments coming around to the front up in the pod is where I mounted a through hole transducer for the fish finder and this is the waterproof gland nut that I used to run the wiring through and then I routed it out through there along the front of the kayak and was able to use one of the existing attachment points with a stainless steel quarter inch insulated wire clamp and then I run it along into the existing track and up into the back of the fish finder and the power cord comes out and is routed down through there again into the gunnel area like it's designed and then I also have it attached here using a rod holder bolt that was already existing with another clamp to hold it in place and it has this quick connect that powers it from the battery box and I added the extra tracks on the rear because this year did not come with them and this is another view from behind and since there was different videos involved with this build I'm going to include all the links for them in the narrative section of this video this is a more detailed view of the battery box on this side I have a special box that I use to house the battery meter because of the electronics involved and I mounted that to the lid of the box on this side is the dual USB ports and this is the quick connect for the fish finder as well as the quick connect for the trolling motor and then I added the stainless steel tie downs for the battery box itself This is an inside view of the lid for the battery box and I flipped it around just to make it easier for this video. This is a six circuit marine grade fuse box and it powers the GPS or fish finder, the accessory or the USB ports, the instruments or the battery meter. And it's supplied power by the positive and negative connections of the battery. This right here is the quick connect for the fish finder. In the center here is the wiring for the quick connect for the trolling motor and the positive is going over to this 60 amp circuit breaker. And what you're going to see here is the Hall effect part of the battery meter and I'm using that because I have a LifePo battery to power this. This is a view of the Haswing trolling motor on there and if you look to the lower left of the frame you'll see the prop unit so I'm going to go up front 
and move the pedals so you can see the turn radius that this motor has. So it works very well and almost has a 90 degree turn in either direction. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.